In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and daughter of the Church. This mass is offered for the souls of Cynthia the Bow. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the ancient saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who makes St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in the zeal for holiness and his study of sacred or tribe. Grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he thought and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil, that is his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rouse one another to love and good works. We should not stay away from our assembly, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another, and this all the more as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face. The Lord this is a people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is a people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, is this is the people who wants to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that always see your face. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
to thy feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia. Jesus said to his disciples, Is it then brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible, nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care of what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. The letter the letters to the Hebrews Hello The letter to the Hebrews was written to strengthen our faith, hope and love. In today's first reading, we see the very beautiful passage of encouragement. God can be trusted in His promises, so our confession confronts our faith. The confession of faith leads us to confession, hope, and courage. It said, O oh, without wavering, to the hope that we have, God can be trusted in His promises. Whatever God gave promises to His people, He had kept, and He will also give for us also. This is the very important message. We live with faith, hope, and love, because God is trustworthy, and He encourages us to have complete, absolute trust in God. The second beautiful message he gave us is about our community. He said, encourage one another, consider how to rose in one another their love and good works. Do not stay away from the assembly. It is very practical advice to us who belong to the community of the church, the people of God, and community of the families. Do not stay away from your church. Do not stay away from the people. Do not stay away from your family. For example, take out the one charcoal from the pile of burning pile. It will grow cold and the fire will burn down out faster. We need our brothers and sisters to warm our faith so that our faith may be glory. We do not walk in isolation, but we live with the community of faith. We experience God loves in the church with the people of God. We pray and encourage one another so that our faith, hope, and love may grow. In today's Psalms, we say, these are the people that long to see your face. We long to see the face as a people, not individuals. We pray at every Mass, our Father. And today, Gospel, Jesus invites us, we be the lamp on the lampstand, so that the light will shine. Our enthusiasm, our willingness, to walk together in the church. Itself is the shining example to others. For example, in St. John Mary Vianney Church, we had different ministry volunteers, and 
we have people who are helping a lot and working together with one another and these enthusiasms imparts to other people also. Let us pray during this mass that we may strengthen the faith, hope and love one another so that one day we all may enter into the kingdom of God. We know that God is all wise and all loving, and so we turn to our generous Creator with our petitions. For the Church, the members and leaders of the body of Christ, may we grow in faith, hope, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. For civil leaders, may they always work to ensure lasting peace and justice for all people. We pray to the Lord. For the healing of all whose lives are controlled by addiction, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are seeking God but do not know where to find Him, let us pray to the Lord. For all people to respect life from conception to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died in the hope of seeing God, especially Cynthia the Pope, for whom this mark is being offered. We pray to the Lord. For coronavirus patients, for those who are dying, and those who are taking care of them, we pray to the Lord. Almighty God, you sent your Son to show us the way to eternal life. Open our eyes to see the way of your kingdom. Hear our prayers, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless our you Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you through our dear and walk of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless our you Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through our divine and work of human hands. It will begin our spiritual dream. Yes. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we do give ourselves entirely to you in praise. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Let up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you are pleased in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, show us support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as bitters in the race before us, and with them the imperishable crown of glory, through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, with all the great multitude of the saints, we send the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are for your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending out your Spirit upon them like the Jew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up, for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim you are dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the signs of peace.
us pray. Through Christ, the teacher, O Lord, instruct those who feed us with Christ, the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives.